Mike, I'm very curious as a CISO, you have to manage both down to your team, but also up to the CEO, to the board. How do you feel we should be doing that? How should we be managing up in light of all of the news about cybersecurity? Yeah, you know, that's a great topic. And, and you see it at conferences, you see it on, on webinars, things like that. I would say, first and foremost, you really have to understand the people that make up your board and, and your C-suite. You kind of got to understand their personalities, their method of communication, things like that. But, you know, what's always worked well for me is really trying to be proactive, making sure that they understand here's the things we're doing, making sure that when something hits the news, I remember several years back when Equifax hit, that hit close to home in the financial services industry. And so one of the things we did proactively is we kind of did a tabletop exercise to walk through exactly the things that had plagued Equifax and where they had messed up. Here's how we would have fared if the same type of issue would have happened to us. And here's the things that we needed to address. Because at the end of the day, these guys are worried, okay, you know, I have a responsibility of governance for this company. And so I want to make sure we're doing the right things proactively. We don't want to get caught, um, you know, being reactive on things as much as possible. And, and really, you know, however much I can kind of share, here's the strategy, here's the vision, here's the things we're doing. Um, you know, part of the problem too is when you get to board meetings, you know, we used to go quarterly for, you know, risk and audit. A lot of times they're always looking at what's wrong or what's where gaps are, where holes are. And so you don't really ever get a lot of time to kind of explain, here's the things that are good. Here's the things that we're excelling at. Here's the things that are, um, you know, we feel like we're industry best in. And so really taking that time off cycle to kind of present some of those cases and some of those things you're doing, I think also helps instill some confidence with your board. That way, when things like solar winds or colonial pipeline happen, they know, hey, I need to go talk to Mike or I need to go talk to the CISO and see exactly how this impacts us. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. That's, that's a great answer.